My mom just recently told me the story of her friend's dad. One night when she was younger, she stayed over at this friend's house. This friend's creepy dad offered them some fresh venison for dinner. My mom had never had venison, but of course she ate it so as not to be rude. Well, the friend later tells my mom that her dad is not a hunter. The truth ended up being so much more gruesome than what she was actually prepared for. Years later, we all learned that this creepy-ass dad had cannibalized several women over the course of his lifetime. Mom's pretty sure she ate human meat. Worked in a 24-hour service station, which was locked after 10 p.m. or so. We served customers through a hatch thereafter. Halfway through the night, a man appeared out of nowhere, no shirt on, no shoes. He was covered in blood. He leaned against the glass and asked for a pack of smokes. I got his order and asked him if he was okay or needed any help. He said no, because it wasn't his blood, and wandered off into the night. Spooked the hell out of me, never saw him again. When I was 14, I went shopping with my best friend and we decided to go to Barnes & Noble. Being the complete nerds that we were, and still are, we headed to the section that's a combination of manga and comic books. While I was looking at the comics, some guy approached the two of us. He had shaggy black hair, glasses, and a very long black leather coat. Something you would expect to see in that section. However, when he began talking, we noticed something quite unexpected. His teeth were all carved as sharp points. Now, I have no idea what the conversation was even about. I do remember that as soon as he left that section, the lights started flickering. Two and a half years ago, I woke up in the middle of the night because my wife's chihuahua was barking at the front door. This wasn't a rare occasion by any means. And usually my wife and I would think nothing about it because that dog would bark at anything. And I assumed it was just a car going by or something like that. Usually my wife is the one to settle the dog down. But she's three months pregnant with our child and obviously needs sleep. So I get up to go see what all the fuss was about. Our other much bigger dog was cowering in the bathroom, which was a habit of his because he's rescued and would run and hide at the slightest of noises. I thought nothing about that and went to the living room where I found the chihuahua going absolutely batshit nuts. I picked him up to try and calm him down when I just got this feeling that I just needed to check the front door. I've learned over time to always listen to those feelings and so I carefully peeked out the curtains of the nearest window which thankfully gives you a direct view of the porch area and the front door. On the porch was a woman, mid-thirties, disheveled, looking like she just crawled out of the sewer. Her clothing was ripped and her face was dirty, just generally a bit nasty looking. And then I noticed she had a butcher knife in her hand and she was just standing there patiently waiting. I immediately went and called the police Long story short, they came, but she'd left in about two minutes. That's about the time it took me to call the cops. They checked for her, but they never found her. What scares me the most about the whole situation is, my wife is the first one to leave the house in the mornings. And that could have been horrible. She could have walked directly into a trap. Needless to say, we did end up moving, and we never doubted the instincts of that chihuahua again. I was working a job that sometimes had late hours and I'd blow off steam in my local Walmart afterwards, either just to pick up some groceries or walk around just to wind down before going home to bed. When I pulled into the parking lot, there were two guys hanging out in the almost deserted parking lot. I sat in my car for a minute because they frightened me. I almost didn't go in. That's how much of a bad vibe they were giving me. They were just sitting on the hood, and it wasn't until two other people showed up that I decided I felt safe enough to walk in with those people. The other two guys followed. 
I did my shopping as usual until I realized I was being followed. The two men that were outside previously were suddenly in my eye line every time I looked up. They were across from me in the makeup aisle, then they were down in the aisle from the grocery goods. So I decided I would test them to see if they really were following me. I walked to my left and one of the men ended up looking at women's bathing suits while he was watching me. That was it. There's no denying it. They're definitely following me. As I made my way toward the front to the checkout, I saw one of the men sprint out the front door ahead of me. As I checked out my items, the second guy made his way out the door. That's when I decided that was really going to happen. These guys were going to really take me as soon as I walked out these doors. I decided to get an escort. It took a long time for me to find somebody working. It was already after 12 a.m. and most people were just stalking. But when I finally did, I told them I didn't feel safe and that those two men were following me and I definitely needed an escort. In that time, the second man came back into the store to see what was taking me so long. The manager said they'd been hanging out in the parking lot all day. So the manager finally found a guy to walk me out. What I saw when we walked out will stay with me forever. The first creeper was crouched down off to the right of the doors, as if he was going to jump someone from behind. When I saw his face, he knew that I knew what he was doing. And he got up and ran to his car, calling out to his buddy. He got on the phone real quick and went and sat in the car while I was escorted. I called the police as I drove away. I should have done that inside the store. That's my one big regret. No more Walmart for me for a while. This happened two years ago. A typical normal day in my suburban neighborhood, or so I thought. My wife asked me to run to the grocery store. It was around two or three. When she asked me, I was sitting in the dining room which is right next to the garage. So instead of walking to the front door and then all the way around to the front of my house to my car in the driveway, I just went out through the door next that led right into the garage. I hit the button to open the garage door and it started to rise. I walked over to the door and ducked to walk out before it was finished rising, just like normal. I stopped dead in my tracks when there were two people standing right in front of me in my driveway, a man and a woman. This caught me totally off guard, and I I think I muttered some type of hello, and then I asked if I could help them with something. Before I had time to focus on their response, I noticed the woman wasn't even looking at me, only the man. She was holding a fake baby baby doll in her arms, cradling it and telling it to shh. I looked over at the man and without missing a beat he asked me if I could give him a ride to the store. I made up some excuses why I couldn't take them even though that's exactly where I was going. It's almost like they knew. And the man's face turned bright red. The woman never looked up at me and I walked around him and I got in my car. I locked it hit the garage door opener on my visor, and then called my wife. Meanwhile, the man is just glaring at me through my windshield. I told my wife what was going on and to make sure all the doors and windows were locked just in case. Before backing out my driveway, I waited for the two people to start walking away, which eventually they did. I asked my wife if she wanted me to stay. She wasn't worried. She told me it was fine. She'd like me to go get what she needed. The grocery store was only a couple of miles away from the house. I grabbed the item, paid for it, and left as quickly as possible, still kind of worried about the strange encounter I just had. As I was driving back home, I saw the same two people walking down the sidewalk toward me. The woman was still looking down at that fake baby, and the man saw me again. He got very obviously upset and walked right out in the middle of the road in front of me screaming something, but I drove around and continued on. My wife called the local non-emergency number and they told us they'd send an available officer to the area to drive around and take a look. I never saw them again. I have no idea what was going on, if they were going house to house asking for a ride or what. Part of me feels bad, thinking they just wanted a ride to the store. 
The whole encounter was just so bizarre. It's the kind of thing you see on YouTube, especially that Rest in Profits channel that caters to this kind of weird stuff that has stories like really creepy Reddit stories, volume one. You know those guys. You know, you probably should like and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.